My name's Duncan. I'm an adolescent forensic psychiatrist. I work with young people who do all kinds of strange things to, from society's perspective that fall into the criminal arena. Um, they commit crimes and they do it driven by things inside within the context of perhaps mental illness but also sometimes within traumas and things that happened to them in the past. Myself and my colleague Peter Mish we work together in a specialist forensic service and for a while now we've been giving consultations to plays which have kind of forensic overtones like this one's very forensic play. My job is to try and understand these behaviours. You know, the kind of behaviours that we see in this play is very much the bread and butter of what I actually do in my day job. It feels very familiar to me. So forensic psychiatry is like the link between mental health issues and, and the law. It's where these two things intersect. So you, you have a young person who has a mental health issue and they'll do something uh, that, that gets into the arena of the courts. And the court is a very dichotomous black and white process, uh, innocent or guilty. And you've got two sides of the court, you know, you've got prosecution and defence. And psychiatry tries to get a, a, an illness or an understanding of a young person who's committed a crime uh, from a kind of a mental health perspective and tries to make that work within a, a quite a dichotomous system. And because often it's not very clear, some you know, people are never good or bad, it's never very clear, cut and dry. It's quite an artistic specialty in a way. It's about trying to understand what drives people's behaviours and I think ultimately that's what the arts do. It's about understanding what drives people, what motivates them to do things which are kind of extraordinary. Uh, sometimes in a very negative way, extraordinary, but extraordinary nonetheless. For me, as a, as a professional linking my kind of love for arts and my thinking of it in a forensic way links really nicely to kind of clinical work. In the play, it's not necessarily a conventional psychiatric approach, but it, it gets to the heart of something. And I think he's very interested in you know, the driving, what's driving this, how can you understand it? What psychiatry is, it's about trying to find a mutual understanding between yourself as the doctor and the patient who's done something. And sometimes it's about finding that understanding and then helping the people around understand that as well, whether it's in the court arena or whether it's just, you know, the family or the network. It's this event that's happened that's so shocking, but what's driven this young person to do this? And I think that's what the play tries to understand. I think that's really key for this production is that the sense of compassion one feels for a young person who's done this really terrible thing. That to me is key to this working because then the audience has to be brought along and feel compassion and curiosity. And that's usually the antidote to something that's truly horrific is maintain a sense of curiosity. So we tried to kind of build that. We gave a few ideas like practical things and there was some there was some technical stuff we spoke about because it was written in the 70s and that and we wanted to it to kind of feel more contemporary in some ways. But actually I think it was just more about yeah getting the idea of curiosity, compassion. These are the things that drive us and that drive us to kind of continue investigating when we might naturally be put off by something that's quite horrible. So you have to kind of balance the feelings within you and we try to kind of get that across. I guess with a play like this, especially if young people see this, it could be very triggering, it could bring up things. I think the play does dig deep in terms of the psyche of the characters. And I think it's important with an artistic endeavor like this, whether it's theater or TV, for people who see it and feel triggered by it, to be able to access services. The way that services are structured in this country, if a young person or if anyone in fact sees this and are feeling distressed they can they can go and see their general practitioner and talk about that if it's a kind of an emergency situation that you can just go to a and e and just tell them how they feel there are lots of different websites as well you can or search online for different kinds of supports the samaritans that people can call a child line if you're a young person but actually i think what it's really about is people not feeling ashamed to do that what i'm hoping this play would do is when the curtains come down at the end it's like breaking down stigmas and barriers people have issues that we carry with us as adults things that have happened when we were little and uh, it's important to sometimes get help for that so i think it's important people should speak and, and i'm hoping that a play like this will help to destigmatize mental health issues and anyone watching this who do feel triggered by some of the content i would suggest they get help and support from a gp from a and e from online resources